Hello there beautiful people, it's your boy Investor Black and in today's video I'm gonna walk you through step by step on how to create a PayPal account that can send and receive funds here in Nigeria or any country that is not accepted by PayPal. So if you're in a country that is banned by PayPal, trust me, you're gonna be able to create your account after watching this video. So without wasting your time, let's head on into the video and before I go, let me just say this. Um, PayPal is going to ban your account if you follow any method other than this. PayPal is going to like most likely ban your account if you follow any method other than this. So pay attention to this video. This video is not a long video. It's a very short video. So don't skip any part of it because I'm not here to waste your time. I'm here to go straight to the point and tell you exactly what to do. So as you can see, this is my one of my PayPal accounts. I'm going to refresh this so you know this is real. I'm going to refresh this. I'm going to refresh this so you know this is real. These are just um, little um, transactions I have done over the weeks. Alright, so having said this, um, I'm going to log out now because um, I want to start the video. Okay guys, so basically once you go to paypal.com, what you're going to be seeing in front of you is um, paypal.com forward slash your country slash home. Like you're seeing right here. Um, if you go ahead to click on sign up, they are going to um, see you as somebody coming from a country that is banned and they are going to actually limit you to just a personal account. And you can't receive payments, you can only send out payment, and that is not what we want, right? So to do this, you have to change this to IS, right? Change this NG to IS. IS. I click on enter, it's going to take you to a different PayPal account where you can actually get the business account as you can see it has changed to business send invoice right you can now send invoice you go click on sign up once you click on sign up it will not ask you to put your details so i'm going to click on business because i want the business account click on continue um once you click on continue the next thing you need to do is to put in your details so I'm going to put in my details. I actually want to open this account for my Showjump, my website Showjump. Um, I think Showjump site. Showjump site at gmail.com. Let me just confirm that real fast, guys. Showjump mail. Okay, Showjump mail. All right, so I'm going to change this to mail. Show jam mail, gmail.com. Um, click on continue. Um, put in a password. I'm going to put in my normal password. And put in your first name. I'm going to put in my normal name, which is Kingsley. You really want to put your your correct details here because if you put in the wrong details you won't be able to verify your account right so business name short jump um I'm gonna change this to your country change it to nigeria i'm gonna type in ni i'm gonna click on my nigerian number right here i'm gonna change this to my other number which is eight zero okay um after doing that you need to change your postal code to five three one one okay and change this to two three four rather to so two three four and you now scroll down click on i have read um you fill it with your complete details just as i've done here then you click on agree and create account once you click on that you know, wait for it to actually accept you you choose your business type my business type is um educational i don't know um so proprietor yeah we'll, we'll click on so proprietor and we'll click on um I'm going to click on individual. Oh, let me just choose. So basically, you can just choose whatever you want. I'm just confused because I'm actually creating a real account right now. Um, let's say um, books. 
because it's, a, it's like an online store digital goods use media um website i'm going to leave this for now you can choose nigeria like you can literally put in your correct details your correct countries everything about your country your correct country i'm putting um james hart here so i'm gonna click on continue i'm putting my date of birth 17th january 98 um i'm gonna put this nigeria so like you see guys i'm actually putting my correct country i'm putting my correct country um national id putting your normal national id i have it right here so i'm gonna put seven eight three eight seven seven one Okay. I'm gonna put that same as business address. I'm gonna now um, same as business phone. Click submit. It'll tell us more about you. Scroll down. Wait for it to load. And boom, you have a PayPal account. Like you see right here. I'm gonna click OK and see this is a PayPal account in my name. So if you followed me through the step down to this point, then you have a PayPal account that can do that has the complete features of a PayPal account. As you can see, App Center, invoicing, request money, send money, PayPal, PayPal checkout, everything right here is complete. And trust me, this account. To provide additional information so I'm gonna um, click on this so I'm going to see we need to collect additional information I'm gonna put in click on go account overview so I need to confirm my email address and I need to actually link my card so if I click on this you can see my message center profile account settings logout like this is a full feature um paypal account so i'm gonna click on um, confirm email address so i'm gonna go to my email right now to check if i've actually gotten um an email from P okay so i'm gonna click on confirm go take it to where you need to confirm your email i'm gonna put in my password which is my normal pay paypal password and I'm in guys okay let's give it some time to load give it some time to load yes receive a text and I'll wait for the text to come in so I've just got the text from PayPal so I'm gonna put that I'm gonna put in the number you can continue identity confirmed like as you can see my paypal account is set so it's very 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 easy to create a paypal account now in the next video i'm going to actually walk you through on how to withdraw money from this paypal account because a lot of people get it wrong after creating this paypal account they don't know how to withdraw money but i'm going to show you step by step in the next video how to withdraw i'm, I'm going to show you actually three ways to withdraw from your PayPal account, three solid ways that work 100% that you're going to be used to it need to be withdrawing from your PayPal account without stress, without issues. Okay, guys, so before I forget, there's something else you need to take note of, which is the account limits. 
on paper when you once you create a new account you need to verify yourself and your details which i did most of you might have not noticed but i actually verified myself using my um, national id card which will raise some limits okay which will raise some limits so if you don't do that you're going to have limitations so let's let me show you how you can actually um check your limits okay so to check your limits basically you need to actually go to um, my account and click on account settings once you click on account settings it's going to take you to another page where you're going to be seeing some menus like you're seeing in front of your screen so you're going to scroll down and you click on where it says limits and you click on view now once you click on view it's going to take you to another screen where you're going to see the limits you have now if you notice what you're seeing in front of you you notice that i have successfully um removed my daily balance limit I've successfully removed my receiving limit. The only limit I have right here now is my sending limit, which is about three thousand seven hundred and twenty-seven US dollars. So I can only send this amount out, but that's not what we are going to focus on. We are going to focus on the withdrawal limit, which I have also successfully removed. And this is how you're going to be withdrawing your funds. You will literally be withdrawing your funds through. A method I'm going to be showing you in the next video guys so if you didn't follow this video step by step and you find out that you have, you see have this limit here go back start this video from the beginning watch it thoroughly to know what I did to raise this limit matter of fact I'm going to also show you the email PayPal sent me about my successful um, removal of my limit if you watch closely you will see you have successfully lifted your PayPal withdrawal limit Okay, so I'm going to click it right now to show you the message they sent me. Now, if you scroll down, you're going to find out what PayPal said. Congratulations, your withdrawal limit has been lifted. You can now withdraw unlimited funds from your PayPal. Okay, and how was I able to do this? Follow this step of this video step by step. Once you follow this video step by step, you're going to be able to have your limits lifted. It's very simple. It's very straightforward. This video is the only video you're going to need. Yeah, guys, so that's how you basically create a PayPal account that can actually send and receive funds in Nigeria or any other country that PayPal is blacklisted, that is blacklisted by PayPal. Okay, um, guys, I'm going to be making another video immediately, like almost the, like the next day about how to withdraw from your PayPal account, like to your Nigerian account or to any account in the world. And I want you to subscribe to my channel. If you've not subscribed, if you're new to this channel, I actually talk about how to make money online. I do my research and I try things out and if they work for me, I'm going to actually open up to you and tell you what I did to get the kind of results I get. So hit the like, um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification icon, leave me a comment like your opinion really matters, like I, I value your opinion, it means a lot to me. If you leave a comment, you're doing, actually um, helping out my channel to grow, so I actually plead that you actually leave a comment say something say anything say anything say let's get that money leave a comment saying let's get that money and i'm going to be really grateful um subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you think this tutorial was wacky give me a comment and maybe try to like tell me what i did wrong and i'm going to try my best to improve on it okay guys so having said this have a nice day guys